and welcome back. Today I got, um, well, people have been asking me about the Fire TV Max and the Cube. What is the real difference? And yeah, we're going to jump into this one. We're going to look at the specs. That way you guys can fully understand what you do get. Now, um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys do subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys like the Cube, if you guys like the Max. And make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. So let's go ahead and begin. We are going to start off with, um, we're, we're, we're going to start off with the cube. Um, the cube, as you can see here, it has Amazon. Uh, it's got Raven as a board, Amlogic chipset. It is advertised as 16 gigs of internal memory. Um, or I should say in st internal storage. It is left with a little bit over 12, which is great. Two gigs of RAM, which is pretty good. Now, as far as the the Max goes, this is the board is running Cara, um, and it is advertised as eight gigs of internal storage. This one's left with a little bit over five with two gigs of RAM. So RAM's the same. Storage is a good difference, um, but it depends on your use case. Now for the 4K Max, it is running a ARM Cortex A55, a quad core um, with a 64-bit, 32-bit mode. As far as the cube goes, it is running a hexa core. You have a quad core at A73 and a dual core at A53. Um, same thing, 64-bit running at 32-bit mode, which is going to be amazing. So you do get a little bit more power when you look at the difference between the two devices right there. Now, as far as the GPU, this is uh, the, the Cube is running the Mali G52 and it will pull full specs resolution, whatever it is. If you got a 1080p TV, it's gonna pull 1080p. If you got a 4K TV, it's gonna pull 4K. Um, as far as the Fire Stick goes, the GPU is running uh, Imagination Technologies, which is Amazon Direct Stuff, Power VR Rogue, GE9215. Same thing, it's going to pull full resolutions depending on whatever it is that you have. Now, as far as Android version, the Fire Stick 4K Max is running Android 9. Um, the device is not rooted. Um, most of the times, a lot of people don't really care if it's rooted or not. Before, it used to be important. Now, it doesn't matter. But it is running Android 9 on the 4K Fire Stick Max. As far as the Cube goes, it is also running Android 9, and the device is also not rooted. So, interesting, they both run Android version 9. But I will say, that cube works slightly better than the Fire Stick Max, but you won't be able to tell the difference because the Fire Stick 4K Max was just built amazingly. Now, as far as codecs goes, this is the most important part for the Fire Cube. It is going to have LATM, AC3, ALA, MLA, MPEG, Vor Vorbis, RAW. It's going to have all that stuff. Everything that you're going to want when it comes to your um, surround sound stuff you're going to get um, it doesn't have the specific that I've seen for DTS HD but these will translate whatever that has now if you look at way at the bottom it does say Dolby Vision for your video stuff your video is going to be uh, like you, you get Dolby Vision with your video on top of that you get duals you'll have 263, 264, VP8, VP9 everything that you're going to want when it comes to 4K quality the 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 fire tv cube is gonna have it all it's gonna be great now as far as the fire tv stick 4k max this is the part that's very impressive this is the 4k max and it has the exact same codex um if you look at the very very top for audio there is a dolby decoder you're looking at that right you're having a dolby decoder unless i missed the cube somebody somebody correct me if i'm wrong if i missed the decoder that says dolby within the fire tv cube let me know in the comment section below as far as this one goes it's it's literally where is it right there at the very very top dolby ac3 and eac3 dolby for your audio now if you look at way at the bottom it also says dolby vision so you get the audio and you get the visual um, again, a lot of these audios will translate that Dolby or DTS or whatever it is that you're looking at, but this has it all. 
Now, the biggest difference is going to be those price difference. And right now, actually, now that I'm looking at this chart real quick, um, just so that way I stand corrected, this one is the Cube, and it also does show Dolby AC3 audio and Dolby EAC. Actually, it's right here right next to me, right there, <laughs> right there. So both of them have the exact same codecs. Biggest thing is the price. Um, you are, it's a little bit over 100 bucks for the Cube, where the Fire Stick 4K Max is about 50, a little bit over 50 bucks. If you get a sale, you might get it right at 100 or $90, sometimes 80 bucks on the Cube. As far as the stick goes, the 4K Fire Stick Max, you might get it at 35, 40 bucks, which is a steal. Yeah, the biggest difference, the biggest difference right now is storage. How much storage do you want between the two devices? One has one is advertised as 16, but you get about, what, 12, 11? And then the other one is advertised as 8, and you get a little bit over 5. If you have, like, like just certain apps, you don't even need to load it that much. If you have, like, a Disney+, Plus, a Netflix, a Hulu, and let's just say you have some kind of third-party app, don't load this thing with too much. Put, like, maybe, like, two or three third-party apps that will get you what you need, maybe, like, a Plex or Sinclair or some kind of live streaming service. Um, you're good. Don't load. Don't overload it. I always recommend, and a lot of people recommend, make sure you have two gigs of internal storage left over. Um, you don't want to go anything less than that because as soon as it starts cashing in that data, then it could start buffering, it could start slowing it down, and you don't want to do that. So that's the true difference between the two. Let me know what you guys think. I try to get you guys all this information. I know there's been some updates that have been going on, so I wanted to be sure you guys get this info. Um, and who knows, we might be seeing the new Q pretty soon. We'll see. With all that being said, I hope you guys appreciate this video. You guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Thank you.